Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Mark Janish. This is the January 16th, 2018 edition of the From the Bench podcast, From the Bench Sports podcast. You can find this podcast on Libsyn and Stitcher Radio. I'm, of course, your host, Mark Janish. Well, everyone, uh, being just outside the Montecito, California flood uh, flood zone, devastated by uh, rainstorms of January 9th, 2018, I can say to you that uh, things are slowly improving, but yet, yet and still we are a little bit isolated with the closure of Highway 101 uh, north and southbound. Now, you can still get into... Uh, Ventura and into Los Angeles uh, after you reach State Route 150, uh, southbound only. However, uh, it it does appear that the Caltrans uh, and the Army Corps of Engineers who are working diligently to clear to clear debris from debris basins and to clear the highway of mounds of mud. Uh, and debris uh, have decided that next week might be an opportunity for the 101 to be reopened. But yet, yet again, uh, I would presume for myself, uh, just by getting eyes on it, that it is a little bit optimistic. That's not to say they won't do it, but at the same time, uh, with the devastation that we do have, it probably uh, might be more than a week. And I say that uh, with reminding, uh, with reminder here that uh, even when the roadway does get cleared, inspectors will have to inspect the highway and see that it is safe to drive because they're not going to clear drivers to be, to be back on uh, north and southbound U.S. Highway 101 until it is inspected. So we're looking at that. Uh, we're looking at uh, 20 people uh, debt as a result of these mudslides and uh, infrastructure has been very, very, very compromised, of course, in that area, uh, <clears throat> Southern California Edison and uh, Southern California Gas will have to relay lines and uh, we will see how this progress goes, but uh, I believe it will be uh, quite some time before things are quote-unquote normal. And I wanted to address that as well. <clears throat> it does appear that to me, through my social media feeds, that uh, we have a lot of people, unfortunately, who cannot and refuse to see the big picture. Uh, I think we have a lot of folks who are more concerned about their immediate situation and not seeing the big picture. Essentially, Santa Barbara, from Milpa Street to the State Route 150, as I said, you cannot go. So that puts a lot of people, including myself, in states of isolation. In other words, I cannot get to UC Santa Barbara. I cannot get to the Santa Barbara airport if I wanted to, to leave the area. That's just not going to be possible uh, because we do have State Route 192 not open uh, all the ancillary uh, frontage roads and those roads that are in the foothills uh, just above Montecito are damaged in some kind of way and not passable, okay? Uh, but what I am getting on social media is disturbing because most people are <clears throat> not seeing the big picture. There's a lot of complaining going on. As I said in a Facebook post, <clears throat> Many are going to be inconvenienced. We need to be calm. We need to be helpful. This is not a time to evaluate uh, anything going on in Montecito unless you're absolutely here and you can actually see the devastation. Uh, this is not a time to armchair quarterback uh, on why this happened in Montecito. There will be people that will do that. Uh, there will be people that will be proclaiming that uh, – Montecito, California is under some kind of judgment. Well, the fact of the matter is uh, we live in a fallen world, and this is part of that fall um, in the sense that uh, anything that man does that can better the situation is great. But when you have forces of nature and 
forces of the natural universe taking place, you're not going to be able to do anything until um, these things uh, pass. Now, this is the greatest disaster in Santa Barbara County history. Uh, the only thing that I think rivals it is the <clears throat> severe earthquake of June 1925, which destroyed the city of Santa Barbara and caused it to have to be rebuilt. Now, there are going to be some good things, I think, that are going to arise from this, specific to the expansion of the 101 free freeway by one lane. The residents of Montecito had chosen not to expand that, uh, given many, many opportunities. There is construction going on in the city of Carpinteria with uh, raised bridges, uh, Casitas Pass and Carpentry Avenue bridge replacement. Uh, so this might be the opportunity that the area has been waiting for to get expanded traffic control and traffic control flow. Now, I'm not an expert in that, but I do know that uh, Santa Barbara has missed many opportunities because of community opposition to uh, increase traffic flow. Now we see here what we have is uh, one main road artery going in and out of the local area. The other route is State Route 126 or Highway 46 to the I-5 back to the 101. Now that run is going to take you four to five hours and uh, oh to the 166 through uh, Cuyama, I believe, in north, extreme north, northern Santa Barbara County. Uh, that's it. That's a five-hour drive around the Montecito mudslide mess. So uh, I'm going to start returning to normal programming. I want to um, just point you toward the Jaguars and the Patriots coming up on Sunday, and of course the Philadelphia Eagles. <clears throat> And the Minnesota Vikings in the NFC. Now, Minnesota uh, dominated for two and a half quarters. Uh, Drew Brees made a valiant effort to bring his team back. Uh, but I definitely um, am not blaming the uh, Saints at this point for the loss. Many people have uh, looked at the 20-year-old Marcus Williams second-round pick out of Utah as the reason that the uh, Saints lost that game. The Saints couldn't score for two and a half quarters, so maybe it shouldn't have come down to that. But I'll have more time to look at that in the coming days. I uh, want to also um, say to you that the NBA page, I'm sorry, the, the football page at accessmediaglobal.com has been altered slightly to include a daily feed, uh, such as the other pages around. So we still have uh, the Power Five conferences, the NCAA, the NAIA, uh, Harvard Sports Analysis, uh, links there and some of my uh, college football favorites as well. But we do have a uh, RSS feed, Real Simple Syndication, so we can follow all the NFL news now uh, daily, whether I'm podcasting or writing or not in this case. What I would also like to say is I will be making some hopeful improvements this week to the international page. Uh, the international page is fine where it stands, but I also want to put a feed in there, especially as we as we approach Beyond Chang and the 2018 Winter Olympics starting on February 9th, 2018. Uh, you can also enjoy the soccer page, the Major League Baseball uh, page, the Minor League Baseball U.S. page, and uh, so forth and so on. You can also uh, get <clears throat> the podcast from Libsyn and or Stitcher Radio. I want to thank them for their cooperation. I want to also just uh, <clears throat> have a moment of silence for the fine folks in Montecito, which we're going to do in just a moment. But I also want to acknowledge the uh, Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. This is a very poignant holiday, especially what we are going through in the United States. Um, we still battle uh, racism. We still battle prejudices of uh, all types. And it's not exclusive to the black community. I will say that. Uh, we have uh, systemic problems. We have problems that uh, cannot be uh, solved. But we also, you know, I will also acknowledge the human condition. 
uh, the human condition and <coughs> is, <coughs> in my view, is a fallen one. And that's because of uh, the concept, uh, biblically, of original sin. Now, uh, I will say that uh, <clears throat> as a uh, foundational Christian, as far as my uh, personal uh, worldview is concerned. Now, this is not an evangelical site of sort, but at the same time, uh, <clears throat> whatever informs your view is what you're going to uh, continue to abide by. So uh, looking at that, uh, I would have to say that uh, <clears throat> despite the tragedy of this week in the local area and the impacts that it has had, uh, I am still hopeful and I am still uh, optimistic that there are a lot of good people uh, still in the world, but I also know that there are a lot of people who are into their self-interest, their own agendas, and things of this nature. <clears throat> My agenda here with uh, accessmediaglobal.com is to be a positive force. We're going to discuss some sports. We can also have positive community impact and, and things of this nature. What I would do um, in order to help the Montecito victims, I would contact Direct Relief International. Their website uh, is available. They're one of the more responsible organizations are rated in the top 10 as far as how they use their money that doesn't uh, necessarily include administrative costs because many organizations have high overhead and high administrative costs. But I would uh, make a call or go to directreliefinternational.com uh, to help the uh, victims of tragedies all over the world, but uh, once of course, once again, of course, the Montecito flood, uh, mudslide and flood uh, control situation is uh, what we're looking at. Um, so that's probably going to be it for right now. Uh, just remember, according to Dr. King, a quote that I uh, uh, am mindful of today and posted on my Facebook page uh, myself, that the uh, arc of the moral universe is long, but it does bend toward justice. And ultimately, even though we don't understand the goodness of the situations that we're encountering, whether it be personal, financial, medical, uh, physical, what have you, um, <clears throat> we must have hope for a brighter future because if we get paralyzed by the circumstances, we're not going to be able to move forward. Uh, if you'd like to con uh contact me. You can go to the contact me page at accessmediaglobal.com. Uh, you can also listen to previous episodes of uh, this podcast on Lipson and Stitcher Radio. I'm going to be back later this week, probably on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday of this week, probably uh, Wednesday, I would say. We're going to talk some AFC, NFC championship football. We're going to discuss <clears throat> the Lakers and Clippers status a little bit more, been a little distracted by uh, personal events and things of this nature, illness and so forth. But we're going to get back to regular programming. We're going to discuss the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos who are going to be hopefully playing games in Fullerton and Riverside this week. But uh, with the closure of the U S highway 101, uh, we'll have to see if those games don't get canceled or rescheduled in some sort of way. For AccessMediaGlobal.com, the From the Bench Sports Podcast, I'm Mark Janish, wishing you a very pleasant good evening wherever you might be around the world and in the United States. Uh, pray that God would bless you and pray that God would keep you and that uh, you find some benefit to this broadcast. Uh, this broadcast is a labor of love podcast. You can get this podcast on your Android phone, your iOS phone, your uh iPhone as well through Stitcher.com, uh, Stitcher Radio, the From the Bench Sports Podcast for January 16th, 2018. I'm Mark Chanish, wishing you a very pleasant good evening, and thanks for listening, everyone. We'll see you Wednesday. <laughs>